John Deacon was the fourth member of Queen and creator of some of their biggest hits, such as I Wanna Break Free, Another One Bites the Dust, and You're My Best Friend. John took a brief foray into solo work when, in 1986, he formed The Immortals and released one single, No Turning Back, and contributing to the original soundtrack of the film Biggles, based on the Royal Flying Corpse pilot character in the series of novels written by Captain W.E. Johns. But many people have wondered after watching the biopic of the band titled Bohemian Rhapsody, what happened to John Deacon? He just seemed to disappear. After the death of Freddie Mercury in 1991, John played three more times, the Freddie Mercury Tribute Concert for AIDS Awareness in 1992, at a charity concert with Roger Taylor in Midhurst in 1993, and at the opening of the Béjar Ballet in Paris in 1997, performing The Show Must Go On with Elton John. He decided to retire from music shortly after this. John Deacon was upset by Freddie Mercury's death in 1991. He later said, as far as we are concerned, this is it, there is no point carrying on. It is impossible to replace Freddie. He reappeared only briefly by joining Queen in October 1997 for the recording of the final Queen song, No One But You, Only The Good Die Young, included on the Queen Rocks album. Deacon has stayed out of the public eye since retiring. He chose not to appear at Queen's induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2001, or to join in the collaboration projects with Paul Rogers or Adam Lambert. Brian May has said that Deacon is still involved in the business side of Queen and that he also approves of the biopic Bohemian Rhapsody. In 2014, May and Roger Taylor admitted that they no longer have much contact with Deacon except about finances. Taylor said, Deacon's completely retired from any kind of social contact, and described him as a little fragile. It seems John was affected very deeply by the passing of Freddie and felt there was no point in continuing without him. It seems he prefers a quieter life now, with his wife and six children. I will not talk about rumours or about where he lives, and try and dig any further into his life, as I feel I should respect his obvious wish to be left alone by the media. And anyway, guys, be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe if you like these kinds of videos. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.